Welcome back to the Engineered Angler. I'm in the shop, obviously, and I'm playing around painting some transparent lures uh, that I've been casting here and there uh, with a lot of experimentation, trying to reduce the number of bubbles, uh, get some sort of reflective surface on the inside, and then get a nice paint job on them. So it's been a little bit of a struggle, but I like the stuff that I'm coming up with. Let me show you the one I just painted. Okay, got a few lures in here. All right. Okay, so this is it right here. Uh, you can see the belly is completely transparent and then there's some transparency throughout. Let me give you a closer look. You can see how that transparency really gives it kind of an, an internal life, right? It gives it a look like it's lit from within. Here's a couple that I did actually probably about a year ago. Uh, this one's got the same kind of foil on the inside, but gold. And this one has a silver foil and a little more paint than I normally put on it, but it had some issues, so I gave it a little more paint coverage. So you can see the amount of bubbles I'm getting on this thing. It's kind of tragic, but in the end, it really doesn't seem to matter too much. The final product still looks really good, and the bubbles tend to be sort of like, uh, I don't know, like sparkles on the inside. Then you can see the foil on this one, and I put a black dot uh, or where the eye is going to be just to give it a black halo. And back here, I put a little target eye. So let's go ahead and get going. I'll show you how easy it is to get these effects and get a paint job like this. Stick around. Here are the two lures I plan uh, to paint. This one is one of the fat belly designs, and this is the one I was just showing you. This is the pan belly. Now, if it wasn't obvious when you were looking at this one, it has a clear coat on it, and that's really what gives it that final gem-like look. So you really don't have to worry about how smooth that outer surface is, because you're gonna treat it just like any other resin lure, and paint it, then clear coat it. The other real positive thing about these kind of lures is they're pretty much bulletproof. Uh, this is such hard plastic when it sets that uh, all it does is get scratched. What I do with my old ones is just give them another clear coat if they get too bad. So this one, the fat belly, I plan to do this one in this green top uh, pattern. So I'm going to do a really simple paint job on this one. One of the drawbacks in the uh, transparent resin is that it really doesn't show uh, the carved details. Now you can see the carved details on this. This is a standard casting and you can see it's got some detail and since there are no other details anywhere else it's really kind of key to try to get these details sort of to pop a little bit. But let me walk you through the color scheme. Almost all the paint on this is transparent paints. The idea is to be able to see through the lure even through the paint. I'm using a transparent yellow, there's a transparent orange, there's a little bit of transparent violet just to give it a little color shift. There's some transparent orange on the bottom, transparent red to give that little subtle bleeding gill. Light travels through the paint, so as you layer the paint, they actually blend. So that blue and yellow make green. And if you take a look, uh, you might be able to catch that the very top edge of this yellow portion is uh, transitioning to a light green. Instead of using black as a highlight for these carved elements, I'm going to use uh, pearlescent blue. So the idea here is I'm just going to fill in the low spots on these carved elements. I'm not worrying about overspraying because most of the stuff is going to get wiped off. is to be able just to wipe the high stuff with a little alcohol and leave the stuff down in the low grooves alone. Okay, I kind of like that. That looks pretty good. I'd like to do a, sort of a semi hard edge stripe. You can see that yellow has a hard bottom edge and then there's a hard edge on the blue above it. And that gives the yellow a, a, a look as if it was a hard stripe. So the way I do it, it actually looks as if there's no hard stripe when you're looking at it straight on. But if you look on it down the body of the lure, you can see how it 
forms almost a hard stripe and it looks just a little bit more natural so we're going to start off with a really bright transparent yellow and i'm going to do that mild stripe and feather this bright yellow up the body uh, that'll give me that base to create a green later And that's how it starts. I'll do the other side. I'm going to switch from this bright yellow to that darker yellow, which is a sunrise yellow, to give it some highlights on the face parts. I don't need much for this. I'm just you're going to apply a little right to the gill part and the mouth parts right here. That deeper orange you're seeing on the foil and the inside of the lure, that actually is, well, was red. It was red sharpie and it turns orange when it gets combined with the, uh, with the resin. All right, that's got a little more of uh, a highlight creating a face there so now i'm going to add a little bit of a misting of violet just near the very top and a little bit around the top of the eye and that's going to be a very subtle sort of uh, color shift element for later i'm going to give it a ever so slight misting of this violet near the bottom fairly noticeable It'll be noticeable later when the uh, clear coat goes on. All right, now it's time to switch to blue. Here I'm putting the mesh on to create a scale pattern. All right, we're gonna use a little bit of transparent blue, and this is where I make my hard line. I'm gonna make a transparent blue hard line just above the hard line for the yellow. And I'm gonna mist this in. there and I'll do the same thing on the other side okay. now I'm going to freehand this without the cardboard on there the idea is that if I get a little overspray it'll soften those hard edges Okay, that looks pretty good. Now I come back with pearlescent blue, and that pearlescent blue is gonna give me that deeper, more marine looking blue. Now I start with the accent colors. This is transparent orange and I'm putting that just on the chin and on the belly just slightly just a misting okay now I'm gonna go with a little bit of pearlescent red and I'm gonna get it down inside the little bottom gill like so I want it to be pretty subtle and then just behind the gill right behind the eye I'm gonna put a little splotch All right, now for the other side. Now I'm gonna finish it off with a black top. All right, that actually should do it. And as usual, it looks kind of dull and lifeless. So I'll add an eye, give it a little time to set, and we'll put a clear coat on it. I'm not gonna put a strike eye like I did on this one. I actually, this, this strike eye is actually out on the surface. I'm gonna leave the one that's inside there and let it just sort of glow through the paint. In the meantime, let's go ahead and paint the fat boy. Start off with the lighter color. This is the bright yellow.
Okay, before I move on to the darker colors, I'm gonna go ahead and give this cheek just a little bit of an orange highlight. I really like the way that looked on that other lure. On the belly, I'm gonna go with a little bit of fluorescent pink. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get some red in this thing and give myself a little bit of bleeding gill. We'll go to the dark green, the moss green for the top. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of black and put a tiny little dot right behind the eye. I really like using uh, this uh, mid coat. It does two things for me. First of all, uh, it sets up this surface so that my clear coat really goes on smooth without any ripples or uh, fish eyes or orange peel or any of that stuff. It also creates a temporary clear coat or sort of protective coating over the existing paint. So as I handle it to put the eyes on, I don't mar it. I won't bore you with this part, it's not very interesting. I'm just spraying on clear. Okay, so on this one, on the fat belly, the little green top, I'm going to put gold eyes. And there you go. I think that's a pretty good look. The pan belly, I went with silver eyes on this one. And I like the way it looks, but uh, let's take a look at the other colors I have. So this is what silver would look like. That looks pretty nice. You saw it on the other one. Now I also have red. And that actually looks pretty cool. I like the way that red, it kind of brings out those violets. I'm going to go with the red. So let's go to uh, the clear coating station and we'll get these things clear coated and in the chamber. So I'll go ahead and let this rotate. Stick around for the final results. I'll show them to you after the second coat. Okay, it's been an hour or so. You can see it's dark outside. All right, they're looking pretty good. Let's turn that off. All right, that looks pretty nice. Oh, that's looking really sharp. Wow, those little flecks of sparkles that were sort of just randomly floating in there uh, actually look more, I don't know, gives it a more of a three-dimensional look. Looks pretty good. Let's get a closer look. And take a quick look at this guy. And you can see it really has that 3D look. Uh, even the paint that I applied on the surface kind of reflects off that foil on the inside and gives it a really like deep 3d look let's take a look at this guy this is the pan belly that i just did and let's take a look here you, the bubbles you can still see them pretty well but you can see how that color transitions and reflects right up on the top and i really like the way the orange uh mouth parts came out so here it is uh lighted from underneath and you get to see a little more of the um, color shift. Pretty cool. I gotta say, I'm pretty happy with the way these guys came out. It's just one more way to use those silicone molds you make just for making regular two-part epoxy 
uh, lures and you get to get a little more creative with the paint job so hope you enjoyed this if you haven't subscribed certainly do so and keep those questions and comments coming i'm really enjoying it so thanks again and i'll catch you on the next video